Welcome Aries to your love reading for December 3rd to the 9th of 2018. Now we'll look into, let's see, person or energy coming towards you this week. Let's see what's going on. Person or energy coming towards Aries for the week in love. So we have the uh, Queen of Wands. So energetically, this could be your own energy where you're feeling a bit more confident about where you would like to go in your love life. This could be someone that you're around, someone that you communicate with, or the energy that you give off. Um, um, feeling extremely passionate about somebody energetically, wanting to get close to them, male or female, it just depends. But um, that's a good card. So um, look out for feeling a bit better about any confusion, obstacles, whatever it is. I feel like you might um, be able to get by them. So what might be uh, let's see person what might it be bringing towards you again for Aries and love so the knight of swords so that person may be very aggressive when it comes to how they approach you what they might say to you um usually um it's verbalizing their opinions or trying to get you to understand what they might want what they feel um and what they would like to change or even if they don't want things to change um in their love life it seems like there might be um an aggressive um uh kind of stance so it could be fire sign then you have a uh, air sign showing up what might be your response for this week Aries? then you have the four pentacles and it seems like you might be holding it back a bit if someone is wanting you to open up if you feel like you might not be able to do so just yet, you might take your time and kind of just uh, stand back a bit with the Four of Pentacles there. could also be a financial thing that you could be. Purify the Four of Pentacles for Aries. Hmm. Yeah, see, it seems like you might be kind of staying back a bit, even if um, you have someone that might be expressing themselves a lot or letting you know certain things. I feel like a lot of you might be on standing back and maybe taking a uh, break in some way. It doesn't mean that you're not still going to have your um, energy with you to do whatever you need to do, but it seems like you might be doing that and then taking some time for you. All right. What might be the obstacles this week for Aries and love? Uh, sticking to a decision, it seems, with the two of swords being here. Um, making sure that you decide what you do now when this is an obstacle that means that you may have already made a decision but having troubles with sticking to it but others of you may need to make a decision with the two of swords here and not be um stuck in limbo that might be an issue right um and what is the outcome for Aries and love no, December 3rd to 9th then we have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. So still some things, bad timing, sometimes uh, still learning some things, going through, you know, the growing pains I feel with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. We'll see why that's uh, popping up. Outside interference. Um, here for the Wheel of Fortune in reverse for Aries. December 3rd to the Yeah, and it seems to be money. Um, whether you're working to invest in more into that area of your life right now, I feel like that might be a priority. So, um, when you feel like things are not moving forward, that might be an obstacle. But it um, seems like you're on the right path, but that might be kind of holding you back a bit. Um, let's see, your partner, what they might be up to. So you're dealing with somebody or you're with somebody this week, December 3rd to the 9th. So the Ace of Cups are showing up. So this is water energy, but just emotional, um, feeling abundant, emotionally feeling good, loving you vice versa could be that energy there but i feel like they have love for you whoever you're dealing with this is um good energy and you might feel it you they might be expressing it you might understand it and um they could be letting you know these things but if they're not they do feel it for you for wherever you might have your eyes set on vice versa right and uh what else might they be doing this week let's see bears and you have the two cups so it seems like you have a um a soulmate connection and when those two cards come out most definitely for many of you out there and you're thinking about it you're allowing it to kind of grow so you can understand it on an emotional level for a lot of you out there so when a will of fortune is there it doesn't mean that it's bad <laughs> it can mean that you're fortunate but the timing might be off because of um you know saving investments you know money circumstances um clearing up some older issues when it comes to money <laughs> for some of you out there but it does look uh, very positive between you and them so let's see um so you have the obstacles so one more card for advice for you this week the cemetery to the night fairies in love four of wands advice this is um uh, this is stability like move um the home 
socializing with your partner or communicating, having a good, stable environment and feeling good. So the four of wands is a good energy, um, marriage, commitment, whatever it might be. It tells you to reach that level, be open to it, embrace it. However, you might do that with you and your partner. Some of you could be married or you're working towards that stage uh, for some of you out there. But that does look good. I hope the messages did help out this week. Yes, very quick. Um, you can always go to the website, psychiclovehills.com, to schedule something for your energy. And I uh, hope you have a great, great week. Enjoy.